Captain Mitchell, sir, we all think you did a hell of a job down in Mexico City. You followed everything on the Narcom. How you saved President Valentine and then General Martin. That battle at Chapultepec Castle, and how you led our guys into Zocalo Plaza and took out the rebels. Well, I'm just honored to drive you, sir. And I'd be honored if you'd just keep your eyes on the road, soldier. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. We've got video incoming. Patching it through. And we now have confirmation that President Valentine has touched down in Washington. Both he and President Luis Peña insist the North American Joint Security Agreement will still be signed, despite yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico City that was finally put down with the help of U.S. forces. As for the recent outbreak of rebel activity in Honduras, Colombia, and Panama, unnamed U.S. sources now confirm their connection to yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico, raising concern that violence is spreading across the rest of Central America. Reporting live from Panama is Marco Zambrota. In the last 24 hours, the rebel forces here, led by Gabriel Alfaro, have essentially shut down the Panama Canal. U.S. forces have moved into the area amidst widespread reports that the rebels are looting ships and stealing their cargo. There are also rumors that sensitive military gear have been taken, though any connection between events here and in Mexico still remains unclear. Lieutenant Rosen is expecting you at Fort Bliss, Captain. I guess after what went down in Mexico City, it'll be time for a little R&R, &R, huh? Maybe for you, son. Something tells me I'm just getting started. Damn, Captain. How the hell did you make it out of Mexico City? I know you probably want to hit the hay, but General Keating's got another situation going, one that requires the ghosts. So they've asked me to prep you for your next assignment using this battle simulator. Your performance during the simulation will be evaluated with a score given at the end of each phase, so try to treat this as a real combat situation, okay? To start, follow the instructions on your HUD. Well done. Scott, when you're on the battlefield, you must keep in mind that maintaining cover will often be the key to your survival. Therefore, you should always observe your surroundings and identify all cover positions available before advancing. Outstanding, Captain. Very good, Captain, but you're not through yet. Careful, Scott. An enemy patrol has been spotted down the street to your left. Your mission is to neutralize it. Use the various covers around you to avoid being hit. All these hits 
you're taking will lower your score, Captain. Don't forget to use the available cover. That's the end of this exercise. Now take a look at your performance for this section. Okay, Captain, now you'll learn how to identify threats and neutralize them from a distance. For that, you'll use a rifle equipped with a scope. Go to the position indicated on your HUD to get your rifle. In urban environments, threats can come from anywhere. They could be lurking around a corner or... ...behind you from a rooftop. Your scope will help you identify these threats. Good, Scott. Now take your time and stay focused. Okay, Scott. Hostiles have been spotted on the hillside due east of your 20. Reach their position and take them out. Stay frosty, Scott. Try not to be surprised by your enemies. Oh, last thing. You'll be scored on the headshots you make. Good luck. That's the end of this exercise. Have a look at your performance for this section. Sometimes you'll be confronted by threats that you can't defeat directly. In this part of the simulation, we will look at stealth techniques for approaching a target without being shot. When there's no cover nearby, you can use smoke grenades to hide your progression.
Outstanding, Captain. Captain, you will now have to approach and neutralize a hostile heavy armor piece. To do this, you'll have to move as close as you can and throw an explosive charge near the vehicle. Remember to use available cover and smoke grenades to avoid being hit. Okay, Scott, that's it for this exercise. Now check out your performance. Captain, I need you to join your team in the truck. Let's go, Scott. Captain, this is your team. The screen on the left of your HUD is the new Crosscom command interface. It will allow you to give orders to your teammates and control such vehicles as drones, helicopters, and even heavy armored vehicles. Let's move. Moving, Captain. In position. Move now. Moving to position. In position. Move. Moving, Captain. Fall back on me. Regroup. No worries, Captain. We're right Let's with move. you. Moving now. Well done, Captain. For the next part, we'll work on advanced battle tactics. Your teammates can use two rules of engagement, recon and assault. Let's try these modes in a battle situation. Attack! Lead the way, Captain. Captain. Roger that. Take a look ahead. Go quiet. Roger that. Move now. Moving, Captain. Move. Moving to position. 
in position. Attack! Check up ahead for hostiles. Aggressive. Copy that. Let's move. Moving to position. In position. Your teammates have spotted hostiles, but note that they are in recon mode, so they do not engage the enemy. As you can see, a stealthy approach gives your men the opportunity to get in close and take the first shot, giving them a huge advantage over their enemies. We Boom. just ran out Moving of time. Move now. Moving, Captain. I think you're ready to use your team in a battle situation, so let's go. Okay, secure the area indicated on your tactical map. An area is considered secured only when no enemies remain in the zone. Last thing. Since this exercise is for testing your command skills, do not use your own gun. Try letting your guys do the job. Fall back on me. Regroup. No worries, Captain. We're right with you. Let's move. Moving now. We got contact, Captain. Regroup. Coast lead. C1. All alone. Due west. Two. Counting two. Due west. Move. Moving now. Contact. Weapons free. Fire. Looking for cover. Alerta. Americano. Shoot that bastard. Can't fire from here. Don't got a shot. Awaiting order. More Move out. Let's go. Check fire. Check fire. Weapons free. Fire. Hold your fire. No shot, no shot, gotta move! Awaiting orders. Hold move, on. move, move! Let's go! Taking the shot! Reloading now! Target down! This location is bad, we need to move Let's to go. get a shot! Awaiting orders! There's still more of them! Let's go! Shoot that bastard! Check fire! Check fire! Weapons free! Fire! Firing! They're trying to blank us! Move out! Yeah, moving! Awaiting orders. More hot. Let's go. They're moving. Move, move, move. Yeah, moving. Shoot. Reloading now. I got a hit. One left. To me. Moving to you now. That's the end of this exercise. Let's check out your performance. On you! Check Captain. fire! Check fire! 
In this section, we'll focus on how you communicate and deliver orders to your teammates. Quick responsiveness and team cohesions are keys to success on the battleground, and your time spent here will pay big dividends once the shooting starts. Move now. Moving to position. In position, standing by. Contact. I see an enemy vehicle ghost lead. Northeast. Roger. Roger that. Roger. Reloading now. Kill confirmed. Roger. Get down to one! Kill I need some medical Mitchell, attention! Mitchell, one of I'm your teammates is down. Here. He will soon die unless you or a teammate heal him. And a word of advice? Be sure all... Brown, go in the cover! Yeah! None left, Captain! Regroup. Regrouping. Have this soldier fixed up now. Let me get to work on him! He's all good. I need a band-aid over here. It's gonna be a cinch to patch you up, sir. Captain, during your missions you'll have numerous vehicles under your command. A UAV drone will be waiting for you at your next position. Move out. Eyes wide open, people. Move. Moving, Captain. Let's move. Moving to position. You'll now see how your cross-com interface can control the new UAV recon drone. This drone will help you locate enemies before they spot you. Slow, people. The drone has detected a rebel soldier. But beware, the drone is within enemy range and can be shot down, so you may want to keep it at a safe altitude. Scott, note that once the drone has marked a soldier, a red intel marker appears to indicate his position. These markers will remain on soldiers as long as the drone is in their vicinity, but be careful, if the drone leaves the area, the intel markers vanish. And remember, the more you use the drone to scan a threat, the more reliable data it will collect. Okay, Scott, you did great. I think that about wraps up the battle sim. I've got General Keating standing by with a mission plan he's developing. He'll fill you in once you're back in the Blackhawk. Mitchell, let me be the first to say you've already done enough for one man, so I don't like the idea of sending you back in. But the fight ain't over. 
We've still got Buku rebel activity in Chiapas, the Yucatan, Veracruz, and right here across the border in Juarez, which is where I really need your cojones, son. The rebels have kept the U.S., Mexico, and Canada from signing the North American Joint Security Agreement. And now Congress is getting cold feet about us putting down this insurgency. So I do not know where you're going or what you're doing. Understood? What do I know? Our intel says the rebels may already have their hands on some nasty technology. Could be a dirty bomb, maybe biologicals. The only hard intel we have is that they're waiting on additional hardware from Panama. That's why I need you on the ground. You must secure and neutralize that package. Juarez is right on the border with the U.S. They're just too damn close. I can't stress enough the importance of your mission. You'll have some Mexican Army friendlies offering support on this off, Mitchell. For the present, your main objective with these boys will be to punch a hole through the enemy lines. Get into Juarez, son, and get me that package from Panama. I'm not gonna blow sunshine up your ass, Mitchell. Expect heavy resistance. Local intel confirms multiple artillery pieces protecting a rebel position two ticks from your insertion point. I've got Lieutenant Barnes patching through video intel. Hey, Captain. I'll be feeding you intel as it becomes available. Okay, Captain. This video shows the enemy training camp. You can also see two areas where artillery pieces are hidden. Your mission is to locate those artillery pieces and destroy them so we can attack the enemy camp. Let's make it quick. In and out, son. Bienvenidos a Mexico, Scott. I'd ask you to send me a postcard, except... you're not officially here. Then I'll bring you back an unofficial bottle of mezcal. With the worm. Now got ghosts touching down. Choose your squad, Scott. Scott, you're gonna get pounded unless you take out those artillery pieces protecting the camp. To do that, you'll first need to ID their locations. How you get into position is up to you. Position standing by. Move. 
moving to position. Contact. Three. Back on me. Regroup. Good work, Scott. You're now in position. We've given you a UAV or eye in the sky to ID those artillery pieces. You can control her from your crosscom or from your tactical map. Standing by for your targeting coordinates, Captain. In position. position. Oh, 
Check up ahead for hostiles. Quiet. Roger that. Let's go! Moving! In position. Let's move. Moving, Captain. Roger that! But we're now picking up incoming hostiles 30 clicks out and closing fast. Your new objective is to secure our rear. General Keating wants to mine Rio Seco Bridge, your closest point of engagement. Check the coordinates on your HUD. Secure and hold the bridge, Scott, until our engineers can wire it to blow. Let's move. Move into position.
work holding the real estate, Mitchell. Our boys are gonna blow that sorry-ass bridge to kingdom come. So I suggest you hightail it toward the hostile's position. We need to take out that camp. Scott, move to ground transport for extraction. Some work on that bridge, Captain. And the way you took out those artillery pieces. Private, can you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Can the chatter and put your foot to the floor. Okay, sir. Right. Sorry. Foot to the floor, sir. Scott, to take out that rebel camp, you'll be linking up with loyal Mexican troops. This is Q-Alpha Niner. I'm at the rendezvous point in awaiting orders. Sorry, Q-Alpha Niner. This is Black Hawk 5. Slight change of plans. Hostiles have set up advanced positions on their camp's perimeter, so Captain Mitchell, hoof it the rest of the way. Be careful, Scott. You'll be on your own. I'll bring you in as close as I can, Captain. Hang on. I've got video. Patching it through to your hut, sir. And the situation in Veracruz has greatly deteriorated in the last 24 hours. The U.S. Embassy is now asking Americans in Mexico to leave the country or limit their movements. Meanwhile... now claim that U.S. forces are on the ground in Juarez. However, Pentagon spokesmen deny U.S. involvement in the conflict and state that until NATSA is signed, the Americans will remain on the sidelines. It's like we don't exist. Because we don't, we're ghosts. I've got more video incoming. The situation here in Juarez is repeating itself across Mexico, where support continues to grow for the rebels many are calling Los Nuevos Niños Héroes, in reference to the last time Mexican soldiers died in combat against the U.S. at the Battle of Chapultepec in 1847. According to their latest communique, Los Nuevos Niños' stated intention is to remove all U.S. presence from Latin America. Scott, we're gonna put a mule supply vehicle on the ground. It'll have some goodies to help you take the rebel camp, but there's a hitch. Hostiles are now approaching the mule's drop zone. The mule is unarmed and vulnerable, Scott, so neutralize those hostiles before we make the drop, and I mean prana. Knock him dead, Captain. Okay, Captain, let's get busy. We need those hostiles taken out before we can drop the mule. Okay, Captain, let's get busy. We need those hostiles taken out before we can drop the mule.
Great work, Scott. Zone is clear. A mule is coming to your position. Hold until it arrives. Awesome, Scott. Now get to the mule and gear up. You've got a brand new counter snipe, Captain, and it kicks some serious butt. Should be just the thing to secure the camp entrance. Good hunting, Scott.
what I'm talking about, Captain. I'd say you pretty much opened up a hole. What do you say we pay those boys a visit? Proceed to the rally point for reinforcements. the camp. Mortar! Mortar fire! Cover! Fall back on you. Move now.
Kill confirmed. Great work, Mitchell. You're halfway to Juarez. Leave the mopping up to the Mexican loyals. Mitchell, remember the bridge you helped us to mine? Check this out. That's right. We took out the bridge, but the hostiles have rerouted. Looks like a weapons resupply convoy headed for Juarez. You need to shut them down before those weapons are delivered. Yes, sir. Move. Understood. Let's move. On the way. Taking you to live images broadcast from a television station in Juarez, Mexico, reportedly under rebel control. Comandante, el presidente Ruiz Peña has called for an immediate ceasefire. What are your thoughts? We cannot agree to a ceasefire so long as our president and those of the United States and Canada are considering to enact the North American Joint Security Agreement, which is simply an excuse for the Americans to take control of our foreign policy, not only in Mexico, but across Latin America. Hate to interrupt show, Captain Mitchell, but we're now approaching the bridge. I've got a visual on your rebel weapons, convoy. Multiple soft targets. Copy that. Scott, get on the gun. We can't let those weapons reach one end. Mexico, would you go so far as to declare war on the U.S.? We will defend our country, just as our brothers in Colombia and Panama who have taken up arms in support of our cause. No NASA, no U.S. meddling in Mexican affairs. We want the U.S. out of Latin America. And if they send forces to stop us, they will have a most unpleasant surprise. Bring it on, amigo. I like surprises. Not this one, Mitchell. By unpleasant surprise, De La Barrera means Ukrainian Red Star 4s, three Soviet-era nuclear warheads that went missing in 1991. And nobody knows how in the hell they ended up in our backyard. Okay, we're at the camp. Look sharp on that 134, Captain. Fire! 
You need to keep up your fire! Proceed to Juarez so we can finish this thing off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Absolutely, sir. En route to Juarez, sir. Captain Mitchell, I've got Lieutenant Barnes in my ear. He's patching through some video. And the National Guard has put a 10-mile evacuation corridor in effect as government officials fear a mass exodus of undocumented immigrants from Mexico as the fighting in Juarez escalates. And the rebel insurgency has spread across Central America. For more, let's go to Marco Zambrota in Panama. The rebels here have taken control of the canal, and there are now reports that Pakistani cargo ships have been seized. Though what they had on board remains unclear. I can tell you, Mitchell. Two crates of Pakistani-built medium-range Kashmir-2 missiles, and our intel is now confirmed they're bound for Juarez. All right, Mitchell, it's bad enough that the rebels possess those Ukrainian nuclear warheads, but if they get their hands on those Kashmir missiles, they'll be able to strike anywhere in the U.S., and we can't let that happen. I'm not going to pull any punches. Juarez is street-to-street -street combat with loyal Mexican soldiers fighting rebels, and you can't tell the two apart. Your first objective will be to destroy two rebel checkpoints. And remember, you and the ghosts aren't in Juarez. Is that clear? Clear as crystal, General. Good. Then make us proud, son, and uh, welcome to Juarez.
Prepare for insertion. I'm now patching through Colonel Jimenez. He's Mexican loyal and on the ground in Juarez. Go ahead, Colonel. General, this place is an infierno. The rebels have beat us down and they're heavy. He's pounding us into the dirt. We need help now. Okay, Mitchell, to take out that tank, you'll need a Zeus T2. So we're putting a mule on the ground. I repeat, reach the mule and get that Zeus. It's a guided missile that deals some serious hurt. Move now. Colonel Jimenez, we're on the ground. What's your 20? You are southeast of our present position. The tank, just get that tank. Fire, fire, fire! There, find those pipes! They're moving! That was close. Great shot, Captain. They're advancing! West! They're coming! Move out! Yeah, moving! Let's go! Northwest! Moving now, Captain. Sector clear. In position. Move. Move into position. Please, my men cannot move. Destroy that tank. That was close. Great Move shot, up. Captain. To me! Zone clear, Captain! Take a look ahead. Go quiet. Roger that. Scott, you've got the Zeus. Neutralize that heavy. Regroup. Scott, you've got the Zeus. Neutralize that heavy. Yes, sir. Let's move. Move now. What is your name, Captain? 
I have no name, Colonel. I'm a ghost. <laughs> I was never here. Understood, senor. <laughs> ghost. Way to go, Scott. You're cleared to proceed to your primary objective. Two rebel outposts blocked the town entrance, and it's time they went bye-bye. Colonel Jimenez, what's your sit rep? We have an APC at Senor Go's disposal. Thank you, Colonel. Captain Mitchell has Boku hostiles in his zone. to go, Captain. Sir! Run! Oh, oh, oh. 
The Mitchell striker has neutralized the rebel target. The target is down. Roger. Confirming the kill. Down the wall. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah, moving. Should be on the scene in under five. Striker is taking fire! There's three of them! Northeast! Confirming the kill! There's still no three of them! I need to move! Cover! Need to move! Sir! Move move, move! Got it! Moving! Captain Mitchell, striker here! Reloading! No can do! Damn fine shot! Yes, yeah, Scott! Way to get it done! Now let's clean up this last rebel position. Colonel, we need a sit rep. We are heading towards the bridge de Santa Maria. No sign of rebel activity in our zone. Move now! No can do! Let's move. Entendido! Understood! Move now! Let's move. Talk to me, sir. Let's move. Unfortunately, move. Good luck, sir. Keep up the fight. Impressive work, Captain. We're approaching Santa Maria Bridge. You should have us inside soon. Okay, Scott, we've got a bird in the air with fresh intel. The hostiles have fallen back, and they're holding ground at the supermarket. They're digging in, Scott, so stay sharp.
Fall back on me. Regroup. Understood. Captain Mitchell, my men are crossing the bridge. We have no sign of hostiles. Let's move. Understood, Colonel. Captain Mitchell is heavily engaged. He needs additional men. Captain Mitchell, I have men advancing to your position, but the area is hot. The rebels are not falling back. They are trying to hold the market. I'm taking fire! Let's go! I see one! No, there's two left! Soldier, you've got a medic kit. Use it. I think we just ran out of targets. Move. Moving to position. Team, move! Roger, Scott. Let's go! Move it! They're advancing, go team. General, 
My men are now at the market. We have no hostiles. I think Captain Mitchell is right about the market, so my men are going inside to investigate. <laughs> Colonel? Damn it, I need a sit rep. Do you copy? Colonel! Blackhawk 5, give me a visual. Copy that, sir. The rebels no. blew up the it market! Was an explosion underground, General. The rebels! Something blew! My men, they are all down! Blackhawk 5, we're picking up heavy radiological activity in your zone. Out of there, Blackhawk 5! Evac! Move! Move! Copy that! Did we just get dosed, Cut General? The noise, people! Colonel, I need a sit rep! Colonel? We have a very high reading on the ground, General. The market must have been a storage site for a nuclear device. Stand by, Colonel. We're running damage assessments at our end. We'll get right back to you. I've got video, Captain. Patching through to your HUD. And we are now receiving reports from Rebel Leader Juan de la Barrera that U.S. forces are on the ground in Juarez battling Mexican troops. De la Barrera, the Rebel Leader, has just released a video showing a U.S. Blackhawk killing 22 Mexican peacekeepers in what he claims was a malicious and unprovoked attack. Pentagon spokesmen have called a press conference for later today to explain the situation. That wasn't us! We didn't kill those men on the bridge! Since when does the news get anything right? <sighs> Man, check this out. The fighting in the city is now street by street. The rebels have seized a large part of the downtown area and are inflicting heavy losses on loyalist troops, including this bridge they detonated moments ago. Look, it proves we didn't do it. Can it, people? Leave the gabbing to those talking heads on TV. We have to focus on getting the job done and going home. As for you, Mitchell, change of plans. You'll be inserted solo and we'll rendezvous with friendlies. We'll help you find those nukes. Are we a go, Colonel? Yes, General. I have men standing by at the cemetery, but I must advise you. This zone is very hot. Mitchell will be okay. Just point him in the right direction. Okay, Scott. Now moving to the insertion point. And remember, your rally point is the cemetery. I'm on approach. Let's make this quick. The zone is way hot. Stand by for insertion. Good luck, Scott. Welcome, Captain Mitchell. I must repeat that this zone is more hot. Please, proceed with caution. Just a heads up, Scott. We're giving you a gun cam to help with your recon mission.
Kilos! Retirada! Those rebels advancing rear of your position must be neutralized so we can extract. Copy that, Colonel. Set the construction site as your fallback position for link up with Captain Mitchell. He will neutralize those hostiles. Wilco, proceeding to the construction site.
That about clears the zone. Mitchell, I need you to link up with the Colonel and his men. They'll lead you to the Rebel leader, and with any luck, those nukes. Colonel, I need a sit rep. Now approaching construction site. Stand by for confirmation on our arrival.
We have enemy snipers in the zone, requesting help. Copy that, Colonel. Snipers in your zone. Mitchell, we've got a mule on the ground near your position. Proceed to the mule and grab yourself a counter snipe. Good. Now get yourself to the Colonel's position at the construction site, and you'd better bring the mule with you.
on Mitchell. We need the area cleared before we extract you. Be careful. They have multiple snipers on the roofs overhead. But be careful, there's still more shooters. The zone is clear. Let's move to the extraction point, Captain. Mitchell, we've got fresh intel on those nukes. A Mexican journalist with access to the Rebels wants to provide us with information. I need her extracted, Captain, and it won't be easy. When is it ever, General? Never. <laughs> That's why you're there, Mitchell. Stand by for ground transport. Colonel, can I get a sit rep on that vehicle? Vehicle standing by, General. Okay, make it happen, Mitchell. Get in that transport and get me that journalist pronto. Bienvenidos. Welcome aboard, sir. I knew you would make it, Captain. I'm putting my best men under your command. They will take you directly to the journalist. She's willing to cooperate, but is very upset at what's happening here. As you will now see with your own eyes. suffered tremendous losses. Once they are beaten, Juarez will finally be free of imperialist domination. We will nationalize all foreign factories and give economic freedom to the people. Mitchell, we're about to get valuable information on the rebels, but the journalist will only agree to meet at a bullfight arena inside the city. She won't wait there long, so I need you there soonest, Captain. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> 